Hello, Crossroads kids. My name is Beth Ann. Thank you so much for joining me for another week of online church. We're gonna have a lot of fun in Crossroads kids today. Before we start, I wanna talk about this month's memory verse. It's a long one, so we've been breaking it up into different parts so we can get it all down. I'm gonna say the whole memory verse first, and then we'll go over the motions. This verse comes out of Psalms 28, seven, and it says, the Lord gives me strength. He is like a shield that keeps me safe. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. My heart jumps for joy with my song I praise him. Now I know that's a really long verse, but I know that you can do it with me. Let's go over this week's part of the memory verse. It goes like this, my heart jumps for joy. You try it with me. Follow along, ready? My heart jumps for joy. One more time. My heart jumps for joy. Great job. Thanks for practicing the memory verse with me. This month, we're gonna keep talking about how God can help us in every situation that we go through. I wanna jump into our Bible story today. It's a really special one. So get ready and here we go. In the Bible, there's a story about a man named Gideon. Let's pretend that this is Gideon. Gideon was a young man who wasn't very strong or brave, but God came to Gideon and told him that he was brave and a mighty warrior. Gideon wasn't so sure. He was scared and didn't think that he could do it, but God told Gideon that he was gonna be with him wherever he went. So. Gideon decided to trust God with the plans. God's people were being bullied by an enemy army and God told Gideon that it was time for them to leave. He was going to have Gideon be the leader who fought off the enemy army. So Gideon traveled around the land, gathering up all of God's people in order to fight off the enemies. Once Gideon had gathered all the people together, they started marching towards the enemy. But God told Gideon that his army was too many people. God wanted the people to know that they would win the battle because of God, not how many people were fighting. God told Gideon that if anyone was scared, they could go home. So most of God's people went home, but there were still quite a few people ready to fight. But then God said, this is still too many. Take them to the water for a test have everyone take a drink of water from the river. So they did that. God said that and if anyone drank the water with their mouths like a dog, they would have to go home. But if they drank the water with their hands, they could stay. My hands are wet now, that's <laughs> okay. After the test, there was almost nobody left, but God said that he would be with them to beat the army, even though there wasn't very many people left. Gideon split the men up into groups. He gave each of them a horn and an empty bucket with a torch inside. When I blow the horn, then you will blow yours too. The sword of the Lord and of Gideon. After they did this, God caused the enemies to run away in fear and God's people were saved. Gideon and his small army were able to take back the land that God had given them. They didn't need to be afraid and they praised God for winning the battle for them. In our story, God showed Gideon that they didn't need to be afraid. God wants Gideon to know that God will always be with him and it was God who helped him. And just like Gideon, we can learn that too. God used a regular man like Gideon to do amazing things because God was with them and God can use you too to do amazing things. What are some things that you're afraid of that God can help you to not be afraid of? Maybe it's heights, the dark, loud noises, or being alone. See friends, all of these things can be scary, but God can help you to not be afraid. God helps us and protects us wherever we go and everything that we do. 
God is so powerful and he helps us to not be afraid and gives us courage to do things when we're afraid. Let's go over our bottom line this month for this week. It's really important. Repeat after me. God helps us do amazing things. God helps us do amazing things. I know that you can do amazing things and God can help you do those. Let's pray and ask God that he can help us do amazing things and that we can always remember that he's always there to help us. Go ahead and bow your head, close your eyes and fold your hands and let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us and protecting us in everything that we do. We pray that you can help us do amazing things and to not be afraid and know that you're always there for us. We pray that our kids and their families are staying safe and healthy. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me for another week of Online Crossroads Kids. And remember to be, not be afraid because God is always with you. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.